Hey, this is Kenny from Kenny's Audio File Rec Reviews. Thank you very much for you my channel. Please like and subscribe. I would sincerely appreciate that. That would help me out. For this video, I'm going to discuss three jazz albums. Two of them are very legendary. And the discussion is going to center around, center around, do I think they're um, overhyped? Do I think they're overrated? Um, now, all three of these jazz albums have uh, pop, had popular hits. They um, outreached the jazz audience, and they were had one song on the record were popular hits, hits with the um, popular music-loving audience. So the um, purpose of this video is if you were to take away those top 40 hits from uh, these three records, each one of them had one, I think, top 40 hit or best-selling hit. If you were to take away those hits from these three records, would they still be legendary, outstanding, and amazing albums? Um, one of them, I think, and I'm going to discuss this, to discuss this is overrated. One, I think the praise and acclaim is just right. And another one, I think, the, uh, is underrated. So, like I said, in summary, if you were to take away those top 40 hits from these records, would they still have the same acclaim and hype that they had if they did have those top 40 hits? That's what I'm going to get, get to in this video. And the albums, the, the jazz album, like I said, these are three jazz albums. Now, I know this can apply to many other different albums. For example, One Hit Wonder albums and many, many other albums that are, are their success is fueled by a One Hit Wonder hit. I realize that. But I'm restricting this conversation only to these three albums, okay? Now, the first one is the Dave Brubeck album. The Time Out album. And oh, by the way, if I didn't say this at the beginning of the video, please excuse the uh, ceiling fan up, uh, up, up above. I'm just trying to stay cool for this video, so please excuse that noise. The next one is legendary and transcendent. It's the Guess Gilberto album. And the next one, Cannonball Adderley. Cannonball Alley Quintet. Mercy, Mercy, Mercy live at the club. So I'm going to dis discuss which album do I think the praise is overrated based on his top 10 hit. One that's about the same based on his top 10 hit, if you were to just take them away. They're not, I shouldn't say top 10 hit, I should say top 40 hit. Sorry about that. And one that is overrated. So one that I think is overrated based on the uh, acclaim and the attention it got from this top 40 hit. One I think is just right, you know, in terms of acclaim and praise. And one I think is underrated based on this top 40 hit. I'm going to talk about the first album where I think the uh, praise and acclaim is just right. And this is Dave Brubeck Time Out album. Now this is a... A, a, a fabulous jazz album, okay? Fabulous jazz grooves, a nice jazz feeling, and um, the songs on here are just beautiful and amazing. But a lot of the success of this album was generated from the song Take Five. I realize that. But I think, to me, if you take away the song Take Five, which was a, a popular hit, and replace it with a song that was a non-popular hit, and that song was on par with the rest of the songs on this album, I still think this would be an amazing jazz album. It still would be. So I think, based on that, the praise for this album is justified. The praise and acclaim is just right. This is still a fabulous album, I think, if you were to take away the hit Take 5. Now, the next album, the Cannonball Alley Quintet, Mercy, 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 Live at the Club. This had the top uh, 40 hit, Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. It was a Joe Zawinul composition. composition. Joe Zawinul 
being one of the founding mem members of the legendary group Weather Report. Another uh, group called the Buckinghams had a vocal uh, hit with the song Mercy, Mercy, Mercy that's equally as good as the uh, Cannonball Adderley uh, hit. But I think if you were to take away the song Mercy, Mercy, Mercy and replace it with a song, and like I said, that popular hit, Mercy, 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 if you take away from this album and replace it with a song that's comparable and on par with the rest of the songs on this album, a non-top 40 hit, I still think this would be an amazing album. To me, this, this album is energetic. It is uh, live. All the grooves and the jazz uh, compositions are just fantabulous. I think this is an underrated album. This is a highly underrated album. Even though part of the, the success of this album, the part of the attention this album got was from the song Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. But if you were to replace it with a, a non-top 40 hit, this is underrated with or without the song Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. This is an underrated album, in my opinion. So this... Um, this deserves deserve more attention and claim. Matter of fact, I should do a video on this album. The next album gets Gilberto. This album features um, Stan Getz, Joao Gilberto, Estra Gilberto, Antonio Carlos Urbim. I'm a I'm a fan of Estra Gilberto. I'll show you um, some of her um, the albums I have of her. I'm a fan of hers. I've been uh, you know, finding her albums over the years, and um, it's great hearing her voice on my system. She didn't have like a, you know, amazing voice, but it, it was a like Sarah Vaughn or Ella Fitzgerald or, you know, Mahalia Jackson or anything. But it was a very soft and beautiful voice. And um, like I said, this is just. Um, the collection of Astro Gilberto albums that I do have before I get to my assessment of the uh, Guest Gilberto album. And the one in the back. This is what the James Last, or Last Orchestra. But getting to this Guest uh, Gilberto album, I think it is overhyped due to the song, The Girl from Ipanema. And like I said, I know you're going to say, Kenny, a lot of songs, uh, albums are overhyped by just one hit uh, uh, wonder songs. But like I said, I'm just restricting it to these three records. Now, hear me out on this. I do think it's overhyped, this album. Um, if you were to take away that, the song, The Girl from Ipanema, and replace it with a non-top 40 hit. Uh, I don't think this album gets all the praise and the acclaim that it would otherwise. And oh, by the way, one thing. Um, I don't even think that's the best song on the album, The Girl from Empanema. There's a song in here. Please forgive me if I'm uh, pronouncing this, uh, the name of the song. But it's called um, O Grande Amor. I think that's the best song on this album. Now, I'm a big fan of this album. It's going to be released on Impex Records, I believe, later this year, 2023, or sometime this year. They're doing their version of this album, their release of this album, or reissue of this album. But this is a legendary album. It's transcendent. It is, it's amazing. It's fabulous. But I think two things can be true. I think this album can be overrated, but it can still be legendary and transcendent. Please, please hear, hear my, um, uh, example of what I'm about to present. You know how they have top 10 lists, like top 10 albums of all time, top 10 baseball players of all time, top 10 movies of all time. Now, let's take the top 10 albums of all time. And you say, number one is here, number 10 is here, okay? Sometimes I say to myself, um, uh, gosh, number... Number two, okay, it's still an amazing album. It's transcendent, it's legendary, it's amazing, it deserves to be on a top ten list. But instead of number two, I think it's still great, but it should be number seven. Still great, but it should be number seven. 
In other words, it's overrated. Still great, but overrated. I'm a big fan of this album. Uh, I have a lot of releases. Uh, I have I did a shootout on this album. I'll leave the uh, uh, our uh, album a CD comparison. I'll I'll leave the link in the uh, description below. But I think this is overhyped because of the um, top ten hit, "The Girl from Ipanema." Ipanema, and it's uh, a little bit slightly excessively overhyped, in my opinion. So, in my view. This is an amazing, transcendent, fabulous, legendary uh, album, but it's a little bit overhyped based on the, its top 40 hit. This album by Dave Brubeck, I think if you were to take away the top 40 hit, Take, take 5, this would be still a, an amazing jazz album. I think the um, the hype is just, it, just about right. So it's not overrated, it's not underrated, I think it's right. The Cannibal Adley album, this is severely underrated, with or without the song Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. Like I said, if you take Mercy, Mercy, Mercy off this song, a top 40 hit, and replace it with a non-top 40 hit, this, I think, would still be an amazing, fabulous album. Highly underrated. Those are my thoughts and opinion. What are yours? Please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you very much for viewing my video. God bless, strong love, and peace to all.